Hey guys, welcome back to The Invincible, a weird sci-fi game where we, Yasna, my name's Twitchy by the way, have woken up on a random alien planet, I thought I'd gone to sleep in the cryopod, and then I woke up in a desert, and then all my crew are missing, Yasna has encountered another crew member, Corville. He's alive, though he exhibits the symptoms the same as the stupor of Dr. Cro Cruter, another one of my crew members. Yasna carries him to the lander, and indeed we did carry him to the lander, we carried uh, Dr... I forgot everybody's name. Uh, this, this one's Merit. Unfortunately, Merit do be dead. Uh, no, very, very sad uh, about that. That's Cruta and that's Corville. Uh, and then out here we have the Angebot. And Androbot, and that's 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 what he called. It's called Arty. I'm all about that. A1, how's it doing? Uh, and our glorious leader, the Astrogator, is up in the ship somewhere, which we can't see right now. Uh, we're around a red dwarf sun, and uh, actually, we're on like a planet around a, a giant planet. It's good, good times, good times. But there's another member of my crew. It's not good times. It's been terrifying times. I don't know what I've been talking about. There's another member of my crew out there somewhere. Uh, Doctor Gorski is is out in that direction. I'm the red dot down down there, and it does. Indeed, this is a console game. Don't press, don't press, don't press the escape button. They, they think for some reason when people make ports of console games over to the PC, they, they think binding the start button to the escape key is the way. Whereas, like we we want the cancel key. Whatever, whatever you've put down as cancel, that's the key we want on escape. Thank you very much. Anyway, we are out in the world. Uh, it's a weird world. The, there's nitrogen and oxygen and methane in the air, but there's no there's no plants. Or animals to make the oxygen or the methane for that matter. I, I, I know there's geological processes for methane, but surely with the oxygen around it will combine with the methane and make problems anyway. I'm leaving the excavation site. Awesome. Uh, how did he come down? How, don't we just jump? You've been, you've been doing so well, Yasna, at just climbing over rocks and not really caring whether you're tearing up your, your space uh, suit or not. Uh, I, I'm surprised that all of a sudden you've got track. Ooh, we put the tracker out. Signal. Yes. So soon? So soon. It's unlikely to be him. Then who? Uh, not who, but what. It's weird. Oh, no, that really. Be able to party with, it. with what? Uh, you're talking about the teleprobe. Uh, yes. The what? The teleprobe? I beg your pardon. Looking at stuff over great distance? I think that's what the teleprobe means. Uh, so, no Novik, no Novik, uh, he, he's the astrogator in charge of our mission. We, we've gone out to, like, the, the wilds, the wilds the around. Probe. It's lying on the ground, inactive. Can't be completely broken if you picked up a signal. I'd say it's running in safe mode. Please try to power it on. Okay, we I will do this. that. It's for a good reason, Doctor. The probe could prove useful in the search. And besides, you'll see. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. We, we, we've gone out, we've done all our research, and then we woke up in the wrong star system. Ah, oh, there, there, there were problems. There were problems, and I feel like they're all his fault. Let's have a look at this teleprompter and a uh, teleprompter, tele, teleprobe, and see what it is uh, about. Is number two? Wait, wait, wait. Number, oh no, I'm, I'm locked into this scene. I can't walk around. Okay, that's that's fine. What have we got in here? Hello? Can can I? T you just want me to randomly okay. click the button again? I'm opening the probe. Okay, good, good, good work. We've got a control panel in front of us. I presume this turns. Turning the systems on. No, no, stop. Wait for my instructions. There's okay. a button on the left side of the fuse box. This left Hold side. It, and then turn the dial again. Okay, we'll do and that. Ahead. And then down here. I, I, th he's, is this an auto destruct sequence? Is he trying to kill me? Correct. I, I didn't know we had access to them. You couldn't have known. This is not standard procedure, but as they say, extremis malice, extrema remedia. I don't speak Latin. What? What? Uh, extreme times require extreme measures. Something like that, probably. Let, 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 let's see what we got here. What, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? Let's take a look. Uh, so we arrived. Look, look, there was a landing crew, and I noticed there's four of them. These are the three, and then Gorski, right? So I wasn't part of this crew. That's very important to know. Uh, there were fish! Wait, fish? That's the beginning of the mission. What? That's the beginning the photo of the first days on the surface. They started exploring the littoral zone almost immediately. I don't know what the littoral zone much. is. Wasn't until the fourth day the comms failed. Okay, all right, that that's good. I'm, I'm trying to search up littoral zone on my phone now. Let, well, hold up. <laughs> the littoral zone is the part of the sea, lake, or river that is close to the shore. Okay, oh, throw my phone away. 
<laughs> okay, that's fine. All right, here's the crew. They caught themselves a fish. We, we got that. Uh, and then excavation. Okay. Oh, this I it's the aerial. Structures. This is where they began to dig. Okay, so they went looking for fish, and then they found this antenna. They started digging up the antenna, and it ca caved in? Question? E execution? Twelve hours passed. Three crew members are still there. Dr. Gorski must have left already. We lost contact shortly thereafter. So whatever happened, happened here to them, right? That, that's, that's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. Detector. The probe followed him. And he followed the detector's readings. Going after those metal structures. Yes, that's what I meant. What's next? W what is what is next? What is next? He followed the detector. The probe followed him. Okay, what? What do we? What do we see here? There's a splash of something, and then black noise. Last slide. There's mostly noise. Nothing in particular stands out to you, Doctor. They were digging and suddenly, poof, people are dead. No need to shout, Astrogator. I'm just letting you know what I see. And let's That's not forget all. it's all your fault. Like, Ian Field, what uh, we got? Hang on. An absurdly high electromagnetic field reading. That's something. Sort of. What are the earlier readings? Checking. Checking. Uh, let's go back and have a look. I mean, this one's going to be large, right? Still high in the slide just before. And then, uh, I'm guessing all the way to the fish. And earlier, quite normal. Quite, quite normal. Okay. What? No, no more, no more EM field readings there. Okay, that that's unfortunate. I, I would, I would like to know. It happened in a matter of seconds, but there's, there's nothing except dunes, sand, a few rocks, a shadow. Shadow. Another sandstorm, I guess. I right, got caught doctor, in a sandstorm. Am I going to die? We'll Alright, that, that sounds like a plan. Let, let's flip those fuses. Wait, so would the fuses flipping wipe the, the pictures? I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, the story thickens. The story thickens. I am all about it. Hello! What's your name? Do I call you Telly or Probe? I've got it on my radar. Now I can give commands to the probe. And? What do you see? What do you see? It, it works. If you run it on manual steering, sir, then, then it works just fine. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. You have a keen eye. Yes. I'll put it in auto mode. From now on, it will follow you, Doctor. Scared. Scared. If it has to. If it's useful, then okay. You don't like machines, yes? No, I don't like you. I don't like being followed. One second. That's odd. There's no data in the probe's memory. None? No ID, no nothing. Do you want to give it a new ID? Name it, basically. After all, it'll be with you for a while. So, what's it going to be? Uh, the old ID was... Please use an old name. It was Olga, if I remember correctly. Olga. Makes sense. Given that it's still the same probe. Done. Thank you. Uh, a few more tweaks. How do uh, I go? You'll have a flying measurement sensor at your disposal. I mean, that's... that's cool. That's cool. Can I walk down here? I feel like, yeah, this is the way I want to walk. It won't let me. Okay, okay. Can, can I walk over this edge instead? I'm, pre I'm pressing the forwards button and it's not having it. Uh, okay, I, I'm going to have to figure out... That, that really looks like the way down. If that's not the way down, then I don't know what... Is this, is this going to be one of those weird moments where... I'm gonna have to cut until I find the edge. I don't. I don't understand why I can't walk off. Uh, is this this anything? No, no, I'm not allowed in there. Okay. I mean, there there is literally a symbol here. I was walking into this wall. I I really thought that was. Oh, uh, all right, whatever, whatever. Janky game. I'm totally the game and not not user input error in any way, shape, or form. I don't see these form. metal structures anywhere. The only surface structure reported was from the excavation area. The rest is underground. Please explore the area thoroughly. Just do as Dr. Gorski. Use the detector. What? No. Dude went missing. Why would... I'm, I'm trying to... I'm pressing R. Is it... Is it not about it? Detector R. What about you? Hello? Can we... Okay, trying to 
press buttons and make stuff work. Th this has just appeared, and I have no idea. The structure... Oh, th this is the thing that we saw earlier. Okay, that that's a thing. Because one, yeah, inside hill. Okay. Yeah, we, we have seen that before. But it's still not letting me press R, and I, I don't know why. Is there is there like a random other button that I'm supposed to be pressing that is just like, yeah, let's, let's try middle click. Uh, okay, hmm, problems. I'm, go I'm going to the checkpoint. I feel like something broke. We're, we're, we're going to try this again. Okay, we are back here. That took a couple of minutes of just running through it all uh, again. No problem, no problem. Uh, let's see if we can find a metal detector. This is, this is what we're here for. Uh, I'm kind of a little bit sad that it wouldn't just let me do so. I don't see these metal structures. There we go. The detector's measurement is very clear. I'm going straight on. No crossroads? Branches? Not yet. Just one thick, tangled vein. Okay, wh where does it go? Where is it going? I mean, it turns out. Oh no, I've got I've got to hold it down, and that goes back. Okay, so this must be where Gorski was following, right? It almost Hi, has to look at him. Hi, Olga. How's it going? No, well, get the get the sector out, put it away. Who know? Who knows? Uh, okay, so we're just gonna follow. There is a th look. Look at this. This is a big one, just down and under here. Wait, branching. Huh. I guess I found the first point. You guess? We have to be sure, Doctor. Well, I'm at the first clear branching of these structures, such as reported by Dr. Gorski. Alright, what happened next? I'm gonna have to check the map, surely, and that's what this is all he about. the branch to the right. He, uh, what's point two? Another thing he reported was a massive vertical structure. Okay, so we're following here. With structures branch underground, G checks to the right. Okay, so Gors... Gorsk, uh, checks to the right. Massive vertical um, exhibit it protrudes above the surface. Water tank, underground structures, biggest one. Yeah. Okay. All right. We've got we've got stuff to see here. Uh, going to the right, you say? Okay. That, that that we should be able to do that. Ah. Uh, let's bring that back up. I, I need to see the branch. Okay. We're going this way. We're going up and into this little cave here. I'm a little bit worried about what we're going to find at the end of this. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm hoping for my doctor friend. Like, that. that's what we really want. Are you, are you doing okay over there, Olga? Are we doing fine? Um, I, I noticed the detector range isn't as good as, like, trying to figure out how far away the wall is. I don't know. I, like, I wonder what tech this is using. Look, there's a massive vertical prominence. That is something that we've been told to look out for. Uh, I'm, I'm just looking out in general as well. Okay, massive structure probe. Massive structure probe. Well, the probe detected something. Yes. What is it exactly? What is it exactly? The structure from the notes, it fits the description perfectly. <sighs> well done, probe. Olga. Olga. Right. Well done, Olga. I don't like He's that I just agreed with the astrogator preemptively. Now on my own, bro. Now I think I'll apply for my own. No. As soon as you find Dr. Gorski, I'll see to it myself. All right. How about that point? What does it look like? How about that point? I, I think we're gonna gonna look the here again. The next point, the third one, is a metal bundle running along the bottom of some water reservoir. Interesting. An object as such should be easy to locate. You would think, wouldn't you? But here we are, finding ourselves on a wave place. Attention. It's kind of organic, but more... It looks like some kind of organic formation. A root system? Maybe these structures have the ability to expand. Somehow. Old claim. Old organic claim. claim. Ah. That's the problem. They look organic, but they're not. They're not. I mean, is... Is there a way? I don't know why it wanted me to open my map, but I pressed the map. Is there a way of metals encoding information in the same way that DNA does? Uh, that, that that's something I'm not aware of. Uh, it went over this way. Okay, I can I can still see it. I can, we're, we're following. We're following. I'm I'm expecting to find a big old water tank on the other water water tank on the other side of here. Uh, we'll we'll see what we actually detect though. So far. No metals in the stun. I just, I just want that to be known. In that star over there, no no metals. She's humming. She's going crazy. She's losing it. So keep it together, Yasna. Keep it together. And to be fair, I, I'm not sure what I'd be seeing in these sorts of situations. Uh, there is liquids ahead of us. I mean, do we know... Where does that go? Do we know that it is indeed water? Is, is that a thing? Pond. Can I click the pond? There's the water. And the metal bundle? 
and and the mess expected is at the bottom before you are sir there's little to say about it all right so how many are left two points or at least that's what he told Koval. what he did next it's hard to assess the battery and the detector last for only a few hours so he couldn't have gone much further are you sure are you sure just because the detector's not working point is a structure that fills a rock massive on top of which he found surface structures. Sounds like a crucial node in this whole system. You sound like a crucial node in this whole system, Astrogator. I, I, yeah, I really... I don't trust him. I feel like he's walking me into troubles. Uh, I, I, whether he intends to walk me into troubles is still yet to be seen, but either through incompetence or malice. I don't trust him. Uh, what what we got here? What we got here? Looks like some footprints. Gotcha. I found his tracks. Finally, some tangible evidence that he was going this way. Good. It's downhill all the way, Doctor. Don't that say the social words. Astrogator. The next point is at a height of approximately 100 meters. Definitely uphill. I'll probably catch up with Gorsik soon. I won't find him for a long time. What if I don't? What if I don't find him at all? You will. Just follow his tracks, Ken. According to our records, it's been no more than six hours since he was here. Think about it, Doctor. On a cosmic scale, it's nothing. Well, on a human yeah, scale, yeah, on a human it can scale. The difference between life and death. I think we have the fourth point. What is this? Magma. Magma coming out and into the water. I, I am suspicious. I am suspicious. Surely I would have started complaining about how hot it was before. Uh, that seems like something I would have. So is the water... <laughs> I'd, I'd want to put my put my little toe in it or something, you know? See see how warm this is. I, I'm guessing that it wants me to go that way because there was the point of jumping. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check my map quickly and see what we've got here. Uh, the biggest one yet. Inside here, 150 meters flagged. What flags, though? What flags... That's the question. Can we get this out and see anything? Probably not. The, this, this, this whole ooh, ooh, ooh. that is 50 meters away. Okay, that that that's interesting. We, if we if we click with the mouse, um, it will. Oh look, point four. I confirm, it's the fourth one. I see our flag. That's only 50 meters up. Uh, okay, all right. Okay, okay. I want to get up there. It's almost got to be this way, right? It's almost got to be this way. Let, let, let's do it. Let's, let's see what we can find. That was quite the jump. That was quite the jump. Uh, I'm going to follow this line of metals uh, because we don't have much else to do. I, I just, I'm just i fairly sure I just saw a clickable that I didn't actually click. Maybe I'm making it up that. The structures undergo noticeable changes here. If it keeps growing at this rate, I don't know what I'll find at the end. What kind of growth are you talking about, Doctor? Depth, width, complexity level? In every aspect. All of it. Do you think these veins lead somewhere? To something? I'm leaning more and more towards that conclusion. But I can't tell what we might expect at the end. If it ends at all. If it ends at all. Alright, bit of casual mountain climbing now. What am I expecting to find? Like some horrific Cthulhu monster where this is just his face tentacles uh, and the, the, the mere knowledge that they exist is enough to wipe the brains of any sentient creature. That, that, that's kind of what's got to be going on, right? This is the way up. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I mean, it could just be natural processes, right? You know, we appear to be on a volcanic planet. Uh, there, there are, is definitely traces. May, maybe this is just ways that cracks and fissures have opened up and metals have been transported from the from the lower core up here. Three, Hello. Two. Two. One. I don't. I, I, Land is departing. What? Yes, they're on their way. Where? Thank you for your assistance. Without your help, it would have taken much longer. But what about us? What's the plan for the second flight? What about us? Place? That would work best. Certain, proven. When you and Dr. Gorski come back, I'll send the lander right away. Thank you. That sounds like a great plan. I'd rather it was waiting for me. But at least this way, when things go wrong, as they inevitably do, and we need to try and find our way somewhere else, 
uh, we can get the lander to drop off somewhere else, right? You know, yeah, that, that, that sounds like a much better plan. Oh, look. Oh, look. I recognize this place. Uh, can I get the detector out? Do we see anything down there? There, there, is, there, there should be metals around. So, look, there's my flag. Can I right-click to see? Uh, wait. Z gets us this. Then we can zoom in. There's the flag. Look at that. We were there just a little while ago. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's carry on walking and try and find... I mean, this thing here, is the probe going to get credit for it again? Are we walking towards something? The probe goes up and Yasna's like, well done, probe. It's like, the probe ah, didn't do that. I've reached the top. Yes. The doctor discovered something new from here. Something he called bushes. Huh. I've heard that term before. In their conversations between Koval and Gorski. No, Yasna. You're the one who reported it to me. What? Right after you landed. Seriously? Well, I... What? I, I don't see anything like it now, sir. Bushes. I mean, like, I've Wait. heard of that before. On Earth. Koval noted down the parameters. I, I want to go to the flag, but all right. Azimus 350. A distance 200 meters. Look at that. Copy that. I'm sending the probe. Oh. Can can I can I look over that way myself? Is that fine? Can we can we get a zoom in? It, it's a bit dusty. I can't I can't quite see what's going on over there. Uh, try and yeah, zooming in and out is not really helping here. A black black bushes. They're like ferns. I see the bushes. I'm the doctor. I don't see a doctor. What about the pro? Visibility is poor. Huh. It's going to be harder than before. I don't know how the doctor... But when it comes to finding a safe route, there won't be a problem. No. But you'll have to get there on your own two feet. I suppose a probe will carry out the first task. It's capable, yes? Of course. I set the environment analysis mode. The probe will calculate the best route between your location and your destination. It'll guide like you this way, right? along the defined path. The calculations will only take a moment. Only take a um, uh, why is this Google Google Maps? Uh, uh, let's, let's do a quick tracker signal. No no tracking to be going on. Let's do a quick metal signal. I mean that obviously. Uh, and if it, if we're not walking and following this, I I would have no idea where we're actually going. But surely, yeah. Hello, Mr. Probe. How are you doing? Hi, Olga. Miss Probe. Mi mi Ms. Probe. Uh, I don't know. Olga. It's a. Uh, it's not the most masculine of names. I must say, it's a clever device, this probe of ours. He could not fly for this long. Yes. Longer than you can stand on your feet. How? Sounds like the perfect research unit. Maybe even better than a human. Maybe. Uh, I was just, it's only a matter of time. I don't know. For me, it's only a matter of time before machines surpass their creators. The only question is when. And in what domains? Like, you know, we can make a machine that is good at specific tasks. We're not so good at making a general machine that does all the tasks, you know? So if we if we want to make a robot that can do the vacuuming, well, we get the Roomba, but it can't do the washing as well, which is a bit unfortunate. All right, so where are we headed here? I mean, I don't even know what type of rocks we're walking through. I feel I feel like this is a geological um, necessity to know where where do you want me to go? Oh, we have a problem. I can climb over here. Huh. Maybe it's true that machines will surpass us, but not today. The route determined by the algorithm goes over a chasm. I can repeat the command. No, uh, no. I'll go around. We, we've got it. Unfortunately, this is an outdated model. Such mistakes are inevitable. But the perception module itself has already been greatly improved. Its accuracy increases exponentially. <laughs> exponentially? <laughs> can you imagine us, proteinaceous creatures, developing so quickly, sir? Proteinaceous, what a word. evolution. You can't perfect a person like that. That's you want to right. bet? You can't. We wait thousands of years for visible changes. Oh, have you started to fear for your position? Aren't we all? Perhaps one day? Well, everything indicates that the clear distinction between humans and robots will soon disappear. And Deep. then what? 
And then what? Capabilities of humans will increase. Machines will get robots will start creating robots. Capabilities of humans. We won't be limited by our own abilities. Robots will excel in areas where we either cannot or do not want to surpass them. To put it bluntly, they will do the dirty work for us. And we'll just sit in the warm privacy of a laboratory, send them to the other side of the universe? Yeah. That's one example. Cyborgs. Well, I don't know. Shh. Astrogator. Can you hear that? Hear what? Uh, what am I supposed to be hearing? That's the point. Nothing. Silence. We're talking about robots, and Dr. Gorski still hasn't spoken on the channel. Well, no, no. He must be a long way from here. I mean, that's... Damn, it looks like a person. Let's get the tracker out. It's me and the bot. Okay. I mean, if the bot is there two Dr. Gorski, lights away... Are you here somewhere? Like, it's got to be logarithmic, right? There's no way that this is a useful tracking range. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, need, it needs to have it that the far, further dot is much, much further away. Uh, I don't feel comfortable walking under this arch. These bushes are kind of weird. You better stay away, Doctor. I'd like a brief description. Just keep a distance. Allow me to use a language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So they look like pituitary, brush-like formations. Look like pituitary, brush-like formations? What, what does that mean? Density. They can be singular, though in some locations they create a uniform thicket that covers the walls of the ravine in a rusty brush-like layer. I don't want to get too close, but I kind of do. They're high, more or less, from one to several meters. Crazy. They grow out of cracks in the bare rock. That's how it looks, to put it briefly. Would you also venture to guess their significance? Some function, purpose? I mean, it's got to be energy harvesting, right? Else why would you be up here? Staying on the topic of biological analogies, which in itself is already a major scientific distortion. Yes, yes, I understand. These are not real plants. But if they were plants, those protruding parts climbing up, they would serve to obtain energy, mainly solar. Because what what other energy? Look, they're they're metal plants. I didn't I didn't realize. Of, of course they are. You could tell by the way they were talking. But yeah, they, they're weird that they've changed shape. Almost like they knew that they were expected to be something else. Oh, there's a tunnel over here. Astrogator, Gorski's not here. I'm afraid he continued to explore. And if he went where I think he did, he might have lost contact with the camp as well as Dragonfly. So we will most likely lose contact too. Oh, great. Beautiful. Uh, possibly. Well, there's only one way to be certain. Only one way. Okay, it's well, I guess we find decision, out. Sir. It's not. It's my decision. Please continue your search. We have to find him. Uh, I may not come back. You may. I'm going. The line's breaking up, but I understood. I'll let you know, sir, when I come out of the tunnel. Do I have to touch these bushes? Is that is that what I have to do? I think that might be what I have to do. But also, I think with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time. Well, we're going to find out what this flashback is about, and we're going to go to the to to the tunnel. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye. I don't want to do this yet. Bye. <laughs>